everyone it's Jen with Jen's creative side today I'm going to show you how to put an adhesive vinyl decal on your water bottle a few things you will need is something to hold your bottle still that's optional you could do this sitting in your lap or um, some people take the pool noodles and cut them in half and wrap them up to be like the towel is here I just take a towel fold it in half and roll it and put rubber bands on each end this is the technique that I prefer best with working with water bottles you'll need your decal a scraper a squeegee if you don't have one of those you can always use a gift card I like to keep a pick and a pair of tweezers on hand just in case something wrinkles or gets stuck in a funny way I can use it to lift up the vinyl and place it back the way it needs to be if you do not have a pick I have um, used a mechanical pencil and glued a sewing needle in the end of it it works if you need something to use from home some scotch tape or some painters tape your water bottle some alcohol and a lint free cloth or paper towel you can also use coffee filters if you have those at home so the first thing you want to do is to take your water bottle I always take the top off so it doesn't confuse me with my center <clears throat> spray your water bottle down and clean it really good this gets off any fingerprints dirt oils from your hands, anything like that off to make sure that the adhesive sticks well. One of the reasons why I like using the towel and rubber band technique is because I can use the rubber bands to help hold my water bottle down and get it lined up where I want the center to be you may not be able to see this on the video but on this water bottle there's this little small seam that runs right there I'm using that as my center point If you are one of my Facebook followers, one of the things that I provide is that I will let you buy vinyl decals for me, just a decal so you can do your own project. This helps you save money on shipping. Um, you can pick out which medium you want it on, which particular cup, water bottle, whichever thing it is that you want to put it on and you pick it out yourself. Um, I know some people don't have access to having a cutting machine, but are crafty so you could always just order the vinyl decals for me and do the project yourself and it doesn't cost very much to ship um, if you get your vinyl decal from me there's three layers you have your clear top layer which is your transfer tape the back layer is usually a paper layer and then in the middle you have your decal so what you're wanting to do is to make your vinyl stick to the top transfer tape. So you're just going to take your scraper and rub it both ways to make sure that it's lifting that vinyl up. You can also do it on the other side. Again, if you don't have a scraper or a squeegee at home, The gift card will work just as well. But if this is something you're going to be doing several of, I would suggest investing in some type of scraper or squeegee because they do work better than the gift card. But the gift card works well if you're just doing one or two of these. If you can't get your ends to pick up, 
you can always take the tip of your pick and lift it up and I always go ahead and lift my corners a little bit and you can see that the vinyl has stuck itself to the transfer tape And that side has as well. There are several different methods of how to put your vinyl on. There's not a permanent rule. You have to do it this way or if it's not the right way. Some people use the hinge method, but it, depend, it all depends on what I'm working on, depending on which method I use, really. Um, for this one, since I'm working on vertical text and I want to make sure everything's lined up okay and it's um, not going crooked across the bottle, I take a piece of um, scotch tape or painter's tape and I put it across the middle of my decal. And this will help hold my decal to where I want it and if it's something where you need to find the center or want to find the center of your decal if you order from me they're already squared up so all you have to do is fold them in half touch the ends and make a crease and you can always where your crease is put a little pin mark or marker mark but a lot of times you can see the actual crease enough to work with it I'm just gonna line this up kind of by eye the way I want it. And once I have it where I want it to be, I'll go ahead and stick my tape down to move that part of my rubber band you lift the bottom or the top whichever way you want to go the vinyl didn't stick good there and sometimes the vinyl won't be stuck in all the places and you can just push the transfer tape back down and I'll grab it it's another good reason why to have a pick or something so then you can Help it a little bit if it needs to. You'll run into this problem every once in a while when you're working on something that's on a curve. Just give it a little help. And when I get up to where my tape is, I'm just going to tear. Paper backing part off, and then you use your scraper and push it down as you go to try to keep out any wrinkles, air bubbles. And then you're going to just rub over it to make sure that it's good and stuck to your bottle. part kind of curves down so that part's a little tricky sometimes to get all the stick good now that we got this side down we can remove our tape and you want something that will give enough stick to hold down your decal but not to leave sticky on your bottle and not to tear your top um, transfer 
sticker. So now we're going to lift this end up. And since we have it, the transfer tape right here, it's going to hold down this part of the project for us. I'm going to pull it back and then lift up our paper on this side. help it out in a few places if it didn't stick well to our transfer tape again if you don't have a pick anything with a good point like I said this is just a mechanical pencil that I glued a sewing needle down into the end of it the only issue with this one is, is if you push too hard you will punch a hole in what you're working with but it'll work if you don't have anything else available and then we're just gonna, as we go, push with our scraper. Go all the way down to the edge and then we'll start from the middle and work our way out. our fingers around those curves just gonna go through and rub down with my fingers just make sure it feels like everything's smooth and then you peel back slowly on top of itself your transfer tape go through and if you see any little air bubbles up underneath it you work them out any little wrinkles anything is crooked you can always lift up the edge with a pair of tweezers or your pick if you need to and straighten it out bubble right there we're just gonna put a little pressure on it and push it until it gets to the edge and you're all done whenever you use adhesive vinyl anything cups water bottles anything like that that you're gonna be using to wash with that's what, that you'll need to wash or whatever um, you don't want this to sit for 24 hours for it to cure and become permanent before you wash it with adhesive vinyl is best for you to hand wash all your items that you put it on and not use the dishwasher because of the heat it'll mess with the adhesive on the back 
I don't let these soak for a long period of time in water. Um, this is his second water bottle last year. He, my son had another one like this. And the vinyl is still good on it. The water bottle is still fine. But as everybody knows, when a new school year starts, you have to have new everything. Um, so if this tutorial was help, helpful, please go down and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for notifications so then that way that you can get other tutorials that are done. Comment below if you have any questions or if there's a tutorial that you would like done. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.